And here it is. The open bracket game of Peekaboo. The Grand Arena game number one against the team that knocked them out in the previous weeks here. Let's jump into it. We got Brain, Drake, and Cerulean. Is, this, is my mic too loud or is this fine? Cerulean going invisible. Peekaboo running in. Peekaboo going for the sap on the pally, but he's too late. No sap acquired. That's going to be just fine. It sounds good. Okay, cool. Grow out of the mage. Can he onto Drake? Drake taking some damage. Mind flay procced onto Drake. Oh, no. That was just the mind flay from Whiskey. My bad. Has that same little icon there. Peekaboo playing very well positionally this week. Sitting on the pillar. Taking out Cerulean. Cerulean Nova on it to Peekaboo. Going in for that full sheep onto Abstract. He does land a full hammer of justice coming out onto Peekaboo. Meteor landing and connecting. Cerulean doing a ton of damage in combination with this Paladin. But it's interesting that it looks like they're splitting Drake actually onto Wizk here while all this is going on. Disarm now coming out onto Peekaboo. Stopping the damage from Golden Guardians. Peekaboo running now into Cerulean. Full kidney shot. Is there going to be a smoke bomb or any type of CC on the brain? Doesn't look like it. This game is going to just keep going on then if uh, they're doing a split strategy like this. Drake now, target of choice. Peekaboo running in. Step kick on Cerulean. Joke's on me. Looks like Peekaboo wants to spread pressure all over the place. Rooted once again, standing still. Cerulean being slowed from that mind flay. Fully dotted up. Full kidney lands as well. No CC on the brain quite yet. Though might be a full blind. Doesn't look like it. Oh, he actually already did use that blind. Peekaboo running in. Triple pressure now. Brain being dotted up. Wizk though, taking a lot of damage. 130,000 life. Looks like he's going to be fine. Absturge popping Ascendance to keep him back alive. Cerulean going for a couple fake casts there onto that Polymorph. Looks like he eventually does pair that Shimmer with the Polymorph and does land it onto Peekaboo. Absturge's um, offensive healing cooldowns do fade. The Windwalker Mage pushing in now onto Wizk. Doesn't look like there's going to be any CC to connect, though. Drake is now the one under pressure. Kidney shot going off. Under fire. Popping the Vendetta now, Peekaboo is. Dressagoth landing as well. Fist of Fury connecting. Looks like Drake's going to be in a little bit of trouble. Answers with that defensive trinket. The tank trinket from uh, Nihilatha. Keeping him sustained for now. Cerulean still holding onto the ice block. Full kidney shot coming out now. Mind Flay's being channeled. Cerulean taking so much damage. Brain, though, just free casting. Cerulean at 200,000 life. Dampening is super, super deep at this point, guys. We're almost 10 minutes into dampening here. Peekaboo's gonna have to make something happen. It looks like Peekaboo got that focus kick into the focus cheap shot onto the Paladin, and they do force the ice block out of Cerulean. There is no defensive cooldowns left for Cerulean's team here. Peekaboo's team needs one more clean go to win this game. He has Vendetta up in about 20 seconds. With this next Vendetta, Peekaboo's team can take out this mage. But Wizke getting low. Spirit Link coming out here from Absturge. Almost getting him in, but the, Ab the Link does get slain from Wizk's team before Peekaboo can actually get gripped in there. Wizk definitely on the back foot. If they can live a little bit longer, though, Cerulean is going to go down. Peekaboo line of sight and going for that re-stealth. Very, very smart. Drake decides to come back and peel Peekaboo. Peekaboo, the last assault here, getting shut down from Drake. There's the kidney. Is he going to use Vendetta? He does. Peekaboo going all in here, decides this is the time to take him out. Brain using that Divine Favor, keeping Cerulean top for now. Peekaboo has the Blind, the Vanish, and the Cloak of Shadows coming up very soon here. Brain doesn't have much defensive cooldowns to work with. He does have Bubble. Let's see if he bubbles and immediately Blind comes out. Bubble immediately. That's what I thought. He is not going to let Peekaboo even go for the sap here. Using that Bubble. Wizke getting low. No defensive cooldowns left. The Spurs though coming back up just in time. Wizke doesn't get healed much from it. 200,000 life remaining. Cerulean trying to get any pressure left he can. Drake connecting Fist of Fury. Wizke 150k life. How is Absturge keeping him up? Dressagoth being committed onto Cerulean. No defensive cooldowns left from either team. Peekaboo getting low. Decides to use that Shrink it there onto the leg sweep. Whiskey, 70,000 life. Cloak of Shadows being committed from Peekaboo. This is back and forth. Brain keeping up the major offensive with the hand of sacrifice as well. Cerulean, 350,000 life. Doesn't look like it's going to go down. Whiskey, 150,000 life. No defensive cooldowns. It's not looking good for the move. Um, let's see what they can make happen. But Cerulean getting low as well. Brain doing a phenomenal job. Step kick now coming out onto the Paladin. Maybe this is where Cerulean goes down. Battlemaster being committed. As soon as that Battlemaster falls, Cerulean's going to go down. Whiskey's team is 
somehow still alive. Cauterize, though, back up. Ceruleum gets proc back up to half HP. That's the ascendance from Absturge. I don't know how the move is still alive. Ceruleum does take go down, though. Wizgate, 100,000 life. Peekaboo's team might have just done it. Done the impossible, taking out this mage Windwalker from playing behind for 10 minutes. Absturge and Wizgate's team somehow survived. The onslaught from Ceruleum. Holy shit. That was insane. I guess it's not over yet. There's still a Windwalker in the game. It looks like the move that was going to take game number one here. Kidney shot coming on to Drake, immediately bopping it. Drake is not giving up. This is actually very scary for Whiskey. If they get a counter kill here, that is not going to look good for the move. That is not the move. We'll see, though. There's still a Paladin and a Windwalker in the game. The move is taking this very seriously. They do not want to lose this. Full kitty shot coming out on a Drake now. No way for him to get out of this. Absturge, 160k life. Can't top himself. Can't top WizK. But they should be getting more defensive cooldowns to work with here shortly in this 2v3 situation. WizK, though, at 130,000 life. Drake going into that hex. I don't think Drake has any more defensives to work with. It does pop Karma. <laughs> WizK getting low. Fist of Fury being popped. Oh my goodness, WizK goes down. <laughs> The 3v3 turns 2v3 turns 2v2. The move has to figure this out now. Drake getting cheap shot. Tons of burst coming out. Kidney landing. Is Drake going to die? Sacrifice. Oh. Sacrifice being used. But it goes down. Windwalker goes down. And the move takes game number one. What just happened? Oh my goodness. Cerulean full kidney shot. Still has every defensive cooldown. Dressed to God. Big from Peekaboo. Peekaboo known for going for those big one shots with that Trestigoth trinket. Stun now coming out once again. Gripped away from the meteor. Looks like Ceruleum's team is kind of falling apart this game, man. They're doing a lot of goes on a Peekaboo and not getting much out of it at all. Bomb coming out on the brain. What? A man, Peekaboo's brilliant. The reverse bomb coming out so that brain can't heal as mage. Short kitty shot coming out on the brain for a little bit more CC. Peekaboo trying to get any. Follow up. I was actually a, a little blunder there with that kidney shot. It was still the yard for like another second or so, though. Drake taking a lot of damage. It looks like the Windwalker Mage is on the run this game. WizK doing 18k DPS. Finally getting to do a little bit more spread pressure since they're on Peekaboo this game a bit more. Full science coming out onto the Paladin. Cerulean going with the Sheeps. Man, I love how the move has been playing this. They have the pressure turned out onto this Windwalker Mage. I think the Windwalker Mage has advantage in this matchup, but the move making it look like they are. Damage coming out on Cerulean. 250,000 life now. Let's see if Peekaboo can go ahead and force some defensive cooldowns. Get another sacrifice. If we can get that cauterized before dampening gets too deep or get that ice block forced, that would be ideal. Absurge, though, at 40,000 mana. Not looking too hot. Cerulean, though, Drestigoth. Every time that Drestigoth goes off, it is just absolutely insane. I actually didn't notice till now. Oh! Spine. So, I, as I say that, the Drake uses Spine and, and one-shots Pika. So, it's like the same way they one-shot last game is how they got one-shot at this game. They still have Live Swap. They still have Link. With just no one... Wow. We were just not thinking he'd go down that fast. Wow, sheesh. That is, oh my, dude. All right, so now it's 2-1. Man, Peekaboo's team, that was the best game I saw Peekaboo's team play, man. Like, it looked like so over, man. Cooldowns on to Peekaboo, and they're not getting much in return, but we'll see what ends up happening. Peekaboo continuing line of sight. Does eventually get back out there, though. Does he get that restyle? Doesn't look like a mage. Nova, Peekaboo, Dragon's Breath on Absturge into the full polymorph. Beautifully played there by Cerulean. Drake does get that full leg sweep into the half hammer justice on the peekaboo. As I say, those swaps might not work. They force life swamp from Wizke with it. So 15 minutes here remaining on the clock. We're about five minutes into dampening now. Peekaboo's team is being forced to shuffle through their defensive cooldowns. Drake probably has that karma back up in about 20 seconds here. Actually, probably has the karma back up already. Cerulean being the target of choice for peekaboo right now. Peekaboo's team has killed Cerulean once and Drake once. We'll see what ends up happening. Blind being committed on a brain. Bomp immediately out of it. Peekaboo getting disarmed. Going for a restealth during that disarm. Making the best out of a bad situation here. 
Ibian popped Vanish. Cheap shots all over the place. Full Hex onto the Paladin. The Mage gets mind controlled as well, so we can't quite dispel it. Beautiful play there from WizK and Absturge. Beautiful synergy. Life Grip now coming onto Peekaboo during the Hammer of Justice. Ceruleum connecting a bit of damage. Looks like Peek is going to be fine in this one. Does use Evasion, though, to keep himself topped. Peekaboo has no Evasion, no Vanish, no Trinket, no Cloak for a little bit. But he does have that Trinket Cloak coming back up soon here. Ceruleum, Kidney Shot coming out. Taking the breath of the damage from the move. Paladin does use Hand of Sacrifice to keep himself, his mage, topped, but it's not doing much. Sacrifice fades. B Cauterize proc. Wow, I didn't even see that. Dressagoth destroying the mage. Looks like the move's in the driver's seat, but as I say, that huge pressure burst coming out from Surlium and Drake. Drake doing some more damage now. Vendetta being committed onto the mage. Science coming out on the brain. Cerulean does go into that full kidney shot now. Bop coming out to keep him aggressive. Disarm now coming out onto Peekaboo. Little defensive overlap there from the Windwalker Mage. Smokebox coming out. Cerulean blinks out immediately. Does hold on to that ice block for another day. Absturge has about 45,000 mana now. Peekaboo charging in, marching in at the Mage. He has his, that sent out for blood. Kitty Shot lands out of the Mage now. Pally popping the wings. Topping his Mage back off. Mage still holding on to that ice block. Brain seems to keep everything under control even in situations like this with the move playing so aggressive here absters down to 20,000 mana now wow must be a lot of different purges coming out the vitality conduit coming out even and out the life totals blind is now back up for peekaboo let's see what they end up doing with it full oh my goodness pika does get hammer of justice immediately trinkets but had no vanish no cloak and no evasion no life swamp either they couldn't quite get that link out in time and Peekaboo goes down. Guys, it is tied back up two to two. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Cerulean <gasps> so really getting interrupted there on that DPS attempt. Peekaboo charging in. Full Hammer of Justice. Silence coming out on the brain. Looks like Peekaboo's going to be fine at 350,000 life. Full committee. Bomb. Committed on to Cerulean now. Peekaboo going for that big burst. Does have that dress to goth. He's holding onto it for now. Triple Fear coming out from WizK. WizK is getting aggressive now. This is where it's getting scary for the Windwalker Mage. Four minutes now into dampening. Sacrifice from Brain fading on a Cerulean there. Cerulean taking a lot of damage. But Pally popping his wings to top his entire team. Looks like the Windwalker Mage is going to be fine for now. Leg Sweep, Fist of Fury. Peekaboo getting a little bit low here from the Drestigoth of Drake. Last game, Peekaboo got one shot from that Drestigoth. Definitely very scary. He has to keep an eye out for it. Absturge hitting those polys. Peekaboo at 250,000 life, but that earthen wall keeping him nice and sustained. The eye being popped. Peekaboo using his cloak to get rid of that eye because he couldn't quite get out of it. A little bit too slow there from the slow of the Windwalker Monk. Peekaboo line of siding, making sure he doesn't get too pressured from the mage. Peekaboo pop and sprint, going aggressive, full blind, coming out, damage out onto Drake as well, going for that early vanish to guarantee the sap onto the paladin. There he goes he lands it he's babysitting now onto the paladin going into a, a full blind a full sap a half sap mage still 70 percent life though not sure if this is worth it cheap shot coming out onto the paladin mage gets mc'd garrote maybe a kidney shot to follow there it is cerulean taking a lot of damage poison bomb down drake now stopping the pressure from whizk interrupting as much of whizk's damage as possible but they're looking to swap back on the peekaboo soon here peekaboo no cloak no vanish he does have that tank trinket. Or he, he does have cloak. No trinket, no vanish. He does have that tank trinket available as well. So Peekaboo has some cooldowns to work with here. WizK has life swap. Absturge has link. This is looking great for Golden Guardians as long as they do manage to rotate through their defensive cooldowns. Having said that, though, the Windwalker Mage Paladin has every defensive cooldown at their disposal. But we will start to see these cooldowns being traded out here. In the next two minutes, as we approach higher and higher dampening percentages, full stun and the half stun out on the Peekaboo, 170,000 live. Peekaboo cloaks and evasions there. Wow, that was the combustion from Cerulean. So now Peekaboo has no defensive cooldowns left except that tank trinket. Now he's going to have to rely on WizK's swap and Absturge's link for these next couple setups here. The Windwalker Mage is doing a setup every about 45 seconds here with a short combustion. Polymorph's going off. Full polymorph onto Absturge. Very scary here. Whiskey not quite landing 
that mass dispel polymorphs trying to be connected from cerulean but they do get stopped beautiful job by absturge absturge they're going to the full hammer of justice any cc to follow doesn't look like it drake feared cerulean kidneyed pressure all around from the move but brain doing a phenomenal job of feeling through it dragon's breath interrupting peekaboo briefly there polymorph getting stopped once again brain silenced no cc or damage really to follow it up but they follow it up with that blind Excuse me, Bob coming out from Brain. Cerulean getting low. Dressigoth being used. They're looking to proc Cerulean here. Mind control on the low HP mage here. Battlemaster being committed as well. Sack now on Cerulean. They're really trying to proc him. That Battlemaster falls. Cerulean is going to proc Cauterize. Let's see if it happens. If they proc Cauterize here, falls in two seconds. One second. If the mage is low enough, they could proc it. That's huge. Okay, they proc Cauterize. Even if they don't get block here, they got Cauterize and block. MB comes out, Cerulean's getting low, take him out! Get him, Pika! 40k life, Cerulean 70,000! The mage goes down! Top six. <sighs> Just like that. There it is, baby! There it is, baby! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Yes! Yes, dude! Beautiful MB. Okay. Oh! I thought they were about to get reverse sweep. I'm happy, man. They, they were up the first two, and I'm like, yo, they got this easy. And they lost those seconds. You're like, oh, jeez. Okay, so that's top six. That's top six, baby. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. When someone says Bretto was right all along. Unbelievable. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, baby. I'll take it.